Hey guys, uh, actually a little bit of a good evening special here. Uh, but I'll put it on the good morning feed and it's going to go everywhere too. But uh, I have some initial reactions to the YouTube dropping the bombshell on this news. And as far as I understand what's going on with the YouTube ads, uh, for those who don't, haven't checked it out, please go check out the geekbeat.tv uh, YouTube bomb video. I actually watched it about 11 minutes. It really kind of explains things really well. And somebody who actually uses ads on YouTube um, to really, that's their business. Um, and it does change things up again. Um, so those that don't know, uh, they changed it so we can't show logos basically in our videos for YouTube. They want you to go through their ad platform. Well, here's the problem. Um, the way I do my content and the way I'm trying to sell ads is, uh, you know, as a network, you know, as my own network, I guess, a little bit. Um, YouTube, uh, yes, they're completely in their rights to do what they're doing. Um, but man, you really kind of kick the community in the nuts with this one. Um, they've already been, uh, uh, you know, really, really bugging, um, uh, musicians with their new plans, with their new deals that they have to sign. Um, and it really kind of kills a lot of grassroots and really kind of kills a lot of interesting, different business models. Um, so, uh, but what does this do? Uh, Joseph Kanaki, I saw in the Facebook comments saying, well, Hey, they're right for, uh, you know, disruption. And they are. They've been around for so long and uh, they're doing stuff like this, trying to figure out how to make money at it. And I guess you can say they're getting a little cocky, right? Um, what does this mean for what I'm doing? I mean, I do the classic pre-roll logo card thing myself currently uh, for our sponsor. And I don't know how YouTube is going to have us sign off uh, through YouTube and get a cut of our pizza sponsor that we have here locally. Um, so I think that kind of get, gets, gets interesting. Um, if they start doing some kind of content ID for logos, I really hope they don't start retroactively taking down, um, podcast videos where we have logos up just a quick card of, Hey, here's everybody that sponsored this video and podcast in general. Um, you know, logos, my own logo for one thing is in, in the front of a lot of the shows, I mean, intros, outros, et cetera. Um, are they going to be able to tag slice on Broadway, which is a regional company, you know? Uh, one thing I will be doing is not doing the pre-roll ads to that effect anymore, at least. Uh, giant logos like that. I mean, I, I can't see you just just saying, oh, there's a Mountain Dew logo in the corner of something, you know. Um, so we're kind of still waiting to see how this plays out. But right now, it's like, it's right. You do have to be a little smarter about it now. Um, you can't do certain things. And, and maybe, maybe for one thing, you know, if you're getting enough hits, maybe you turn on some of those pre-roll ads. I see there's a new six second pre-roll that they're running now and they're selling now, um, which gets me to use their platform a little more. And, and part of me is like, how much can I do, uh, using the ads on their platform when I'm on there? But again, not everybody that watches, listens to my stuff is on YouTube. So I need to make sure that I'm maximizing everything available to me and nothing else has restrictions. Good point from the geek beat is, uh, well, Facebook. Great granular information about your audience. Facebook just turned into a video platform for a lot of people, a lot of options. You have your v Vivio um, or Vimeo or yeah, Vimeo um, to, do it, to do it that way. You know, you have more control there, you know, um, and you can do your own ads and I don't think there's any restrictions on that. Um, so it'll be interesting. Uh, it's not the end of the world. A lot of people have to rethink their business model. Um, but YouTube, stop, stop doing this to your community because, uh, this is a problem and, uh, I don't know where you go from here. So just a real quick thing. Let me think, let me know what you think about the YouTube changes to the advertising. Are you a YouTuber? Are you a vlogger? Were you going to do something? Um, is this making you kind of halt a little bit? Um, I think a lot of people, um, for a long time, and, and, and I kind of saw this coming a little bit. Uh, watching the YouTubers uh, documentary and uh, a few other things uh, and, and a couple of uh, sessions. I think I said this at the podcast video podcasting uh, session this year at PodCamp. Um, there's a lot of people sitting on that YouTube platform and depending on the YouTube platform for their live livelihood. Um, and something was going to happen for them to get a rude awakening. And I think that just happened for a good portion of those people. So. And there's still the monetization itself. What if that just stops paying off? Look what's happened to Facebook and how they're changing the pages, right? And now they might be the ideal video platform for us. You always got to keep on your toes. 
You always have to look for the next thing. This stuff is always going to change as a creator in this space. You have to. Let me know what you think about the YouTube changes. Let me know if you're changing anything. And uh, have a good evening. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.